At this point, we're ready to start talking about operations with two or more matrices, and we want to start with arithmetic with matrices. So let's start with addition and subtraction of matrices. The first thing we need to know about adding and subtracting matrices is that the dimensions must be the same in order for us to add or subtract the matrices. So for instance, let's come up with a two by two matrix. Let's say we have one, zero, two, and negative four. And we want to add that to another matrix. If I'm going to add this to another matrix, because this matrix is two by two, I can only add it to another two by two matrix. I can't add this to a two by three or a four by two or a one by one or a matrix with any dimensions other than two by two. But let's say I do have another two by two matrix that I want to add it to. We'll say negative one, six, zero, and two. This matrix addition is defined because both matrices are two by two. And when I add two matrices together, the dimensions of the result will always be equal to the dimensions of the original matrices. So the dimensions of the result here will also be two by two always. So in order to add, all I do is add corresponding entries. So I say one plus negative one gives me zero and I record that zero in the same spot that the one and the negative one are sitting. So I'm adding the entries in the one one position and I'm recording that sum in the one one position of the result. So zero plus six gives me six, two plus zero gives me two, and negative four plus two gives me negative two. And so the sum of those two matrices is this matrix here. I can do the same thing for subtraction. So let's say I want to subtract here instead of add one zero to negative four and I want to subtract the same matrix, negative one, six, zero, and two. And matrix subtraction, just like matrix addition, is only defined when the dimensions of the two matrices match. So because I have two by two here, I have to have two by two here. And then the result, again, just like addition, will also be the same as the dimensions of the original matrices. So the dimensions here will be two by two. So in order to subtract, I again subtract corresponding entries. So one minus a negative one is one plus one or two. Zero minus six is negative six. Two minus zero is two. And negative four minus two is a negative six. When we're adding matrices, we can say that matrix addition is both commutative and it's also associative. If you remember these properties from algebra, early algebra classes, we said that addition of real numbers was commutative. So for instance, with real numbers, the commutative property tells me that one plus two is the same thing as two plus one. I can commute the numbers, I can change their order or move them around. That commutative comes from commute and commute means to move. So I can move the order of the numbers and still get the same result. One plus two is three and two plus one is three. Well, matrix addition is the same way. If I have matrices A and B, A plus B will be equal to B plus A. So I can add the matrices in the opposite order, that's the commutative property, and still get the same result. Matrix addition is also associative. So remember that the associative property with real numbers tells us that if we have something like this, one plus two, plus three is equal to one plus two plus three, that I can associate these values in different ways and still get the same result. So by associate, we mean put parentheses around. If I put parentheses around one plus two, and then over here, put parentheses around two plus three, I'm associating the values in different ways. Here I'm associating one plus two, here I'm associating two plus three, but I still get the same result. This is still gonna give one plus two is three, three plus three is six. Here I'm gonna get two plus three is five, five plus one is six. I get six either way. So that's the associative property with real numbers. And the same applies to matrices. If I'm adding A plus B plus C, three different matrices, I can do that addition in different ways. I can first add A and B, and then to that result add the matrix C, or I can add B and C, and then to that result, add matrix A, and I'm still gonna get the same result either way. So that's the associative property, and both of these apply for matrix addition. 
On the other hand, matrix subtraction is not commutative and it's also not associative. And that should make sense. So with the commutative property, if I say one minus two or two minus one, that would be the commutative property with real numbers. These two things are not equal to each other. One minus two is a negative one. Two minus one is a positive one. So I don't get the same result with real numbers. And I also don't get the same result with matrices. A minus B is not the same as B minus A. So the commutative property does not apply to subtraction of matrices. I have to keep the order the same. The associative property also doesn't apply with matrix subtraction. So if I have one minus two minus three, and over here I have one minus two minus three, if I associate one minus two, and then I associate here two minus three, these things are not gonna be equal to each other. I'm gonna do one minus two, that's gonna give me a negative one, negative one minus three. Over here, I'm gonna to have to do two minus three inside the parentheses first. 2 minus 3 is a negative 1, so I'm going to get 1 minus negative 1. Negative 1 minus 3 is a negative 4. Here I'm going to get 1 minus a negative 1 is 1 plus 1, or 2. So these values are not equal to each other. So subtraction with real numbers is not associative, and subtraction with matrices is not associative either for the same reason. If I have the matrices A minus B minus C, and then a minus b minus c. If I subtract a minus b first, I'll get a minus b and then minus c. But if I associate b and c, and I do b minus c first, then I end up distributing this negative sign across the b minus c, and I end up with a minus b plus c. And as you can see, a minus b minus c is not equal to a minus b plus c. So matrix subtraction is not associative either. That being said, now that we know about matrix addition and subtraction, we can solve equations with matrices in the same way that we would solve equations with real numbers. So for instance, let's say I have this matrix here, one, zero, two, negative four, and I want to subtract from that this matrix, negative one, six, zero, two, and set that equal to Let's say I have some unknown matrix, we'll call it B, and then I'm adding to that over here on this side, one, five, negative two, and three, and then I have another matrix that I'm adding, seven, zero, one, negative two. I can actually solve this for the matrix B, and keep in mind that this equation is gonna be defined because the dimensions of all four matrices are the same, which means that I can do the matrix subtraction over here, I can do the matrix addition over here, and I'll be able to solve for B and get a matrix value for B. So we can start on the left-hand side and we can do that subtraction. So we'll get one minus a negative one or one plus one, that'll give us two. Zero minus six is a negative six. Two minus zero is two, and negative four minus two is a negative six. So we get that value on the left. And then on the right, we have B plus, and here we can add the matrices together. So one plus seven is eight, five plus zero is five, negative two plus one is a negative one, and three plus a negative two is three minus two, or positive one. Now to get B by itself, I can subtract this matrix from both sides. So the result there will be B is equal to this matrix here on the left, two, negative six, two, negative six, minus this matrix here from the right-hand side, eight, five, negative one, and one. So B will be equal to, and I'll do my matrix subtraction, two minus eight is a negative six, negative six minus five is a negative 11, two minus a negative one is two plus one, or positive three, and negative six minus one is a negative seven. So B, the matrix that makes this matrix equation true, is this matrix negative six, negative 11, three, negative seven.